everybody, it's Mr. Chad. And it's Mr. Rob. And we are here to tell you something so exciting. Something exciting. Something so exciting, in fact, that we have to tell you from a zoo. A zoo! Wait, that's not a zoo. Wait, what? We're in outer space. Wait, what do you mean? Ah! September 12th. September 12th. At 5.30. 5.30. We have something amazing. We are going to be having our big Move Up Rally! That's right. If you were in preschool, you're now going to be joining our kindergarten class. And if you were in first grade, you get to move to the two, three theater. If you were in third grade, you're going to be moving into the four, five theater with me. Yeah, you guys get to hang out with Mr. Robert and Miss right. Carly. Yes. Okay, now though, there's some kids who were in fifth grade. That's true. And they're moving out of elementary altogether. Altogether. And this is a really exciting moment because they are now joining the U. So, for our rally, Mr. Robert, That's right. guess what? What? After it ends, uh -huh. every single kid is gonna get some SCG Kids swag. What? No way? Swag? I want swag. You can get swag. I can get swag. And I can get some swag too. But not only are we giving you guys swag, we are going to fill your bellies. That's right. I love when people fill my belly. Yeah, we're gonna be having a family dinner. So, bring your family. Bring your appetite. And we will see you there. There. So register online. No. But, but wait, wait there's, there's more! Okay, all this stuff is so exciting, Mr. Robert, but we're not gonna see you guys there unless you go register, so make sure That's you true. go register online. We'll see you guys there, okay? See you guys. Bye! Bye.
John, are you ready for the tug of war? Oh, I'm ready, Brandon. 
On your mark, get set, go! go. Uh. <sighs> how, how is this helping us to learn how to do the tug of war? It's not, it's not, something's wrong. We need to be both pulling on the same rope. Oh, oh yes, of course. <sighs> Let's try this again. Yeah, star wipe. On your mark, get set, go. <clears throat> oh man, this isn't how a tug of war works either. No? No, we should be on opposite sides of the rope. Otherwise, it's just gonna be. <clears throat> Oh, that was unusual. I'm okay. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. I'm John. And this is The So-and-So Show, a show where me and my best friend try to have some fun, we learn something, <laughs> we do... You okay, do you need a lozenge? No, I'm fine, please, continue. All right. Anyway, it's the show where me and my best friend, we try and learn something. What are you doing? Why are you making that noise? You want me to stop talking? No, it's, no, it's, no. no. Just. This is a show where me and my best friend, uh, what is the matter? Why do you keep crying when I say best friend? <laughs> are you? It's just that we've been best friends for a really long time now, right? So long. Well, the thing is, I've got a new best friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, we can still be friends without being best friends. I mean, we're around each other all the time. It makes sense that we could use a break once in a while. But, but, Believe me, I get it. But I don't... <laughs> Who is this new best friend anyway? Tell me everything. Okay, so I was walking through the store the other day, mm -hmm. and I hear this voice out of the blue. Hi. So I turned around, and I said, hi, back, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not every day that you meet people who are just plain old friendly, right? So yeah, but anyway, before you know it, we got to talking, and you wouldn't believe how smart she is. I mean, she knows something about everything. We were in the store talking for like hours. Manager said it, I had to leave or make a purchase, and uh, next thing you know, we're walking out of the store together. <laughs> We've been best friends ever since. Well, that's awesome. When do yeah. I get to meet her? Oh, oh, she's here. Oh, she is? Yeah. Well, in that case, please welcome someone who knows everything. Is she coming? What? Oh, through the door? Oh, no, yeah. of course not. No, no. I don't understand. Besides, she's please. already here. Brandon, allow me to introduce Sylvia. Ah. Say hello, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> she slays me, that's a great joke. Hey, John, you know your best friend can't be a robot voice in a box, right? Oh, jealous. No. Of course it can. Look at all the fun times we've had together already. Hey, Sylvia, play the friendship montage. Playing friendship montage. John, this thing is not your friend. Jeez. It's a box that you found in the... It's a box, all right? And, it, and it's just like every other box in the store. That's not true. It is. That is not true. She has answers to all my questions. We have the same taste in music. We, we know okay, where look, I like it, to all eat. All it does is repeat facts from the internet and play generated playlists. No, so she also knows what the weather is gonna be like. How does she know that? It's, 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 she... it's a computer. It's a, it can only give you facts, right? It can't give you, it can't help you like a, a real friend can. You know, like, like a, what's a problem that you're having right now? Anything, tell me. Okay, okay, well, you know my neighbor. Longbeard Carl? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, well, he keeps blocking my driveway. He's got like six cars for no reason and it just keeps frustrating me. Okay, well, um, as your friend, 
who is actually listening to your problems, I suggest that you go to Longbeard Carl and you tell him what's bothering you. <laughs> uh huh. Well, what do you think, Sylvia? Searching for tow truck companies. Oh, come on. You are not going to call a tow truck and tow Longbeard Carl's car without talking no, to No, I him. know, I know. But I'm just saying Sylvia heard the problem and came up with a possibly good solution. The tow truck is on its way. No, no, cancel the tow truck. Cancel the tow truck. Tow truck canceled. She was just trying to be helpful. Uh-huh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. guys. Hi, Kellen. Now ordering nine melons. No, oh, no, 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 not melons. Kellen. No, cancel the melon order. Cancel the melon order. Canceling melons. Whoa! You guys found one of the new Sylvia's? You know, sometimes it seems like she found me. He thinks it's his new best friend. Oh, she's way more than a friend. She can do this. Sylvia, go disco mode. Disco mode engaged. Sylvia, stop! No, no, don't listen to him, Sylvia! Uh, uh, go crazy bananas! Ordering 80 bananas. <sighs> what is it with you and produce? No, cancel the banana order. Canceling bananas. You got a story for us, Kellen? I do. And speaking of produce, here's Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter are the best of friends, as you may know, but sometimes they don't make the wisest choices. So here's a little wisdom from the book of Ecclesiastes to help them out. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Did you hear that, Count Lupe? Two are better than one. What perfect timing. We can help each other get to the bottom of these stairs. Ho oh, ho ho! Who needs help? Last one down is improperly aged fromage! Ooh, ooh. Oh! Ah! Yay! Ah! Ooh. Help! Lupe! You fell! Oh! Crack! Oh! Crack! Yeah! I'll be happy to help you traverse the dangerous staircase, Mr. Fritter. I have brought a pillow. Oh, thank you, Perry! You are a good friend. Um, yeah. The verses continue. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Suppose either of them falls down. Then the one can help the other one up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up. Then feel sorry for that person. I couldn't have made it safely without you, Perry. And I could not have made it safely without you, Mr. Fritter. I could not make it to the hospital without either of you. Help! Friends are there to help each other. And when we mess up or when we fall down, friends can help us get back up. But Ecclesiastes has even more wisdom for us. <clears throat> One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. And a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. It's very crowded in here, Perry. I hope we'll be safe. We will be safe, Mr. Fritter, as long as we stick together. There's strength in numbers. You're right, Perry. You're so right. Hey, where's Count Lupe anyway? <laughs> Hello, you two! <laughs> I hope, hope, hope you are enjoying being packed in like cans of sardines while I have all the space in the world! <laughs> are you sure it's safe up there alone, Count Lupe? We can make room for you down here if you'd like. <laughs> Never! Besides, I am not all alone. There are two bags of uh, frozen green peas here to, to, to keep me company. Oh, Count Lupe, those peas have been there for years. I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. 
Nonsense! It is they who should not m m m mess with m m m me! Count Lupe! Look out! Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> that was silly. But the point is, a friend is there for you when you need help. They give you advice, they stand up for you when you're in trouble. It's good to have a friend. Isn't that right, Count Lupe? We. Oui. Oui. Back to you guys. Thank you, Kellen. That was a good lesson. Mm -hmm. It was very uh, fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Hey, do you get why this thing can't be your friend now? I mean, it's not going to give you advice. It's not going to stand up for you when you're in trouble. Uh, okay, okay. You're right. But it is good for one thing. Sylvia? Reveal the question. Thank you, Sylvia. The question of the day is, what makes someone a good friend? Someone who listens and cares. Yeah, someone who knows a little more than just how to do an internet search. Hmm, yeah. Brandon, will you be my best friend again? Of course! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Sylvia, I'm gonna go ahead and shut you down, all right? Yep. What are you doing, John? My mind is going, Daisy, Daisy, give your answer, do. So talk about it together. Uh, what makes someone a good friend? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. A good friend would tell you if you had powdered donut on your face, but a bad friend... Mmm, so good. Oh, is that a cream donut on my face? No, you look fine. You look great. Oh. <laughs> a good friend would be there for you when you wanted to FaceTime them, but a bad friend... I'm going to FaceTime Chad and see if he can help me with some homework that I have. Miss Queen wants to FaceTime. Now, <laughs> right, I'm going to get back to some Roblox. Aw. You must be playing Roblox. A good friend would share their snacks with you, but a bad friend... Oh, can I have some of those? I'm kind of hungry. I didn't have lunch. <laughs> okay, guys, don't act how I was acting. Don't treat your friends how you were treating them. I was just acting for the sake of showing you what not to do. <laughs> but just remember the bottom line is to choose your friends carefully and to be friendly to everyone. That's right. When you're at school, you can go around and be friends to everyone. But that doesn't mean that you have to go and spend your quality time and go over to their houses and go over to everyone's houses. You can have your close friends who you choose carefully. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Carly, I think you're getting a FaceTime. Oh my goodness. Hi! Hi, Hi Miss Carly! Hi. Look at you! Hi! Hi. Okay, bye guys! joining us tonight. There are lots of ways to find out what's happening at SCG Kids. You can visit the church website, scgchurch.org, or just find SCG Kids on Facebook and Instagram. We love to see what you're up to, so be sure to tag us at SCG Kids so we can stay connected. As always, if you have any prayer requests, please text or call us. Have a great week.